South Africa is a country known for its diverse culture, stunning landscapes, and vibrant cities, but it is also home to some of the richest families in the world. These families have established themselves as leaders in various industries and have built vast empires that spanned the globe. From mining and finance to real estate and technology, these families have built vast empires, established themselves as leaders in their respective fields, and created a legacy that is both impressive and inspiring. In today's video, we'll be exploring the 15 richest families in South Africa, taking a closer look at their history, businesses, and influence. We'll also delve into their wealth and what sets them apart from the rest. Let's dive right in. 15. The Ferreira Family $420 million Ferreira was born in South Africa and raised in the Western Cape Province. He completed his undergraduate studies at Stellenbosch University, where he obtained a Bachelor of Commerce degree. After graduation, he began his career in the financial sector, starting as an analyst at the Industrial Development Corporation of South Africa. In the early 1980s, Ferreira founded First National Bank with Paul Harris and Lauritz Dippenar. The company later became First Strand Bank in 1998, which has since grown into one of the largest and most successful financial services groups in South Africa. In addition to his work with First Strand Bank, Ferrero was also the founder of RMB Holdings, a financial services company that later merged with First Strand Bank. The two companies are subsidiaries of First Strand Group. Ferreira has been instrumental in the growth and success of First Strand Group. His success has allowed him to accumulate significant wealth, which he has shared with his family, making them one of the wealthiest families in the country. Ferreira has a net worth of $420 million. 14. The Ramaphosa Family The head of the family, Cyril Ramaphosa, is the current president of South Africa and a businessman who has made a significant impact on the country. Cyril Ramaphosa was born in 1952 in Johannesburg and grew up in Soweto Township. He was active in the anti-apartheid movement from a young age and was a prominent student leader during the 1976 Sabado Uprising. In addition to his political career, Cyril Ramaphosa has also been successful in business. He is the founder of the Shanduka Group, a large conglomerate interested in various industries, including mining, energy, and real estate. Ramaphosa used to own the McDonald's franchise in South Africa. He was also MTN's non-executive chairperson from 2001 to 2013. He is worth $450 million. 13. The Gore Family Adrian Gore, the head of the Gore family, is a South African businessman and entrepreneur who is the founder and chief executive officer of Discovery Limited, one of South Africa's largest financial services companies. He founded Discovery in 1992, intending to change the way people think about and manage their health. Over the years, the company has expanded to offer a wide range of financial and health-related products, including medical insurance, life insurance, and investment products. He is widely regarded as one of South Africa's leading entrepreneurs and is often referred to as the father of medical scheme administration. Under his leadership, Discovery has grown into a major player in the South African financial services sector and has had a significant impact on the growth and development of the country. In August 2017, Adrian won the Frost and Sullivan Visionary Innovation Leadership Award for Africa. The Gore family is worth $480 million. 12. The Ackerman Family Raymond Ackerman was born in Cape Town in 1931 and has spent much of his life building his retail empire. He is a businessman, philanthropist, and head of the Ackerman family. He is the owner and chairperson of the Pick and Pay supermarket chain. Raymond purchased the chain in 1967 from Harry Golden and transformed it into one of South Africa's largest and most successful supermarket chains, with at least 870 stores in South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Australia. Their wealth is largely a result of the success of the Pick and Pay brand and its various stores and subsidiaries. His net worth is $500 million. 11. The Dipinar Family Lawrence Dipinar is a South African banker and business magnate. He was born in Pretoria, South Africa, in 1940 and began his career as a chartered accountant. 
He served as the chairman of First Strand Group and is renowned for his charitable contributions. In 1977, he founded Rand Consolidated Investing, which is First Strand's predecessor, along with Paul Harris and Jared Ferreira. From 1992 until the formation of First Strand in 1998, he served as executive chairman of RMB. He was appointed as the first chief executive of First Strand and held this position until the end of 2005 when he was selected as a chairman for a non-executive role in 2008. His net worth is estimated to be $610 million. 10. The Mouton Family Janny Mubin is a South African businessman and entrepreneur. He was born in Cape Town, South Africa, and grew up in the Western Cape. Mouton started his career aged 22 as an articled clerk at PLC. He qualified as a chartered accountant in 1973. In 1995, Mouton was fired as managing partner by stockbrokers Senecal, Mouton, and Kitchoff, a firm he co-founded. In the early 1980s, he founded PSG Group, a private equity firm based in South Africa, and over the years, the company has grown into one of the largest and most successful private equity firms in South Africa. They have a net worth of $1 billion. 9. The Saltzman Family The Saltzman family, specifically Ivan and Lynette Saltzman, are prominent South African business people and philanthropists. Even Saltzman is the founder of the well-known retail pharmacy chain Dischem, which has grown to become one of the largest and most successful pharmacy chains in South Africa. Even Saltzman started Dischem in 1978 with just one store in Johannesburg. Over the years, the company has grown to over 100 stores across South Africa, with plans for further expansion in the future. Dischem is known for its high-quality products, competitive pricing, and exceptional customer service, which has helped to establish it as a trusted and beloved brand in South Africa. Kevin has been in the business for over 40 years. His net worth is $1 billion. 8. The Gray Family Alan Gray is a well-known name in South Africa, and for good reasons. He was a successful entrepreneur, businessman, and investor, who built a multi-billion dollar fortune throughout his lifetime. Alan Gray was born in 1940 in Cape Town, South Africa. He grew up in a middle-class family and showed an early interest in business and finance. After completing his education, he worked in several different positions in the financial sector before eventually starting his own investment company, Alan Gray Limited, in 1973. Over the years, Allen Gray Limited has become one of South Africa's most successful investment companies. Today, the company manages over 600 billion rand in assets on behalf of its clients. Allen Gray passed away in 2019, but his legacy lives on through his family and the work of his investment company. His sons, William and Andrew, have taken over the running of Allen Gray Limited and are continuing their father's legacy of success and philanthropy. This family has a net worth of $1.5 billion. Are you enjoying this video? Then like and subscribe to the new tourist channel. Do not forget to turn on notifications so you get notified whenever we upload videos on fun facts about Africa and the world at large. 7. The Saad Family Stephen Saad is a businessman and the founder of Aspen Pharmacare, one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in Africa. He was born in Durban, South Africa, and grew up in a working-class family. Stephen started his career in the pharmaceutical industry, working for companies such as Pfizer and Squibb. In 1997, he started Aspen Pharmacare with a vision to bring affordable, quality medicines to people across Africa. Today, Aspen has over 20,000 employees and a portfolio of over 500 products. The company is known for its focus on producing affordable generic medicines, which has made a significant impact on the lives of many people across the continent. Stephen's net worth is $1.9 billion. 6. The LaRue Family Michel LaRue is the founder of Capitec Bank, one of the largest retail banks in South Africa. He was born in Stellenbosch, South Africa in 1950 and has been an entrepreneur for most of his life. In 1999, Mikiel founded Capitec Bank, which has since grown to become one of the largest retail banks in South Africa. 
Michel's wealth is largely a result of his successful career in banking and finance. Capitec Bank was named the best financial institution in the world in the first 2016 bank quality rankings by the International Banking Advisory Group Lafferty. It was also named South Africa's cheapest financial institution in the 2015 Solidarity Research Institute Bank Charges Report. He has a net worth of $1.9 billion. 5. The Becker Family Coase Becker is the founder and chairman of NASPERS, one of the largest media and internet companies in the world. He was born in South Africa in 1951 and raised in Pretoria. After studying economics and accounting at the University of Pretoria, Becker started his career as a chartered accountant. In 1985, Becker became involved in the media industry when he joined NASPERS as its financial director. Under his leadership, NASPERS grew from a small publisher of magazines and newspapers in South Africa to one of the largest media companies in the world, with interests in print, television, and online media. He has a net worth of $2.3 billion. 4. The Matspe Family Patrice Tolopane Matspe is a mining magnate and philanthropist. He is the founder of African Rainbow Minerals, which has interests in gold, ferrous metals, base metals, and platinum. He is also the founder of a private equity firm, African Rainbow Capital. Patrice was born in Johannesburg, South Africa in 1962, and he grew up in Soweto. He graduated with a law degree from the University of Swaziland and later went on to obtain a law degree from the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. After completing his studies, he worked as a corporate lawyer before venturing into business. In 1994, Patrice founded African Rainbow Minerals, which quickly became one of the leading mining companies in South Africa. He became a billionaire in 2008, the first black African on the Forbes list. His net worth is $3.3 billion. 3. The Weiss Family Christoffel Weiss is a South African billionaire businessman who has made a significant impact on the retail and investment industries in his home country. He was born in 1941 in Robertson, Western Cape, South Africa. Weiss completed his education in South Africa, where he earned a degree in law from Stellenbosch University. He co-founded the South African retail company Pepcor in the 1970s, which eventually grew into a multi-billion dollar business. He served as the chief executive officer of Petcor until 1999 and remained a significant shareholder in the company until it was sold to Steinhoff International in 2014. In addition to his retail ventures, Weiss has also made a significant impact as an investor, particularly in the retail and consumer goods sectors. He is the largest individual shareholder in ShopRite, a South African grocery chain, and has invested in other companies such as Invicta Holdings and Breit. He is known for his philanthropy, particularly in education, and has made significant contributions to universities and schools in South Africa. He has a net worth of $5.4 billion. 2. The Oppenheimer Family Nikki Oppenheimer is a South African businessman and philanthropist who is the former chairman of the Beers, the world's largest diamond company. He comes from one of South Africa's richest families and is one of the country's most influential figures. Nikki Oppenheimer was born in 1945 in Johannesburg, South Africa, and is the son of Harry Oppenheimer, who was the former chairman of the Beers and one of the country's most prominent businessmen. Nikki Oppenheimer was educated at Charterhouse School in the United Kingdom and then at Christ Church, Oxford, where he studied philosophy, politics, and economics. In 1998, Nikki Oppenheimer became the chairman of De Beers and held the position until 2012, when the company was acquired by Anglo-American. During his tenure, he transformed the company into a global leader in the diamond industry and expanded its reach into new markets. He currently lives in London, but retains a strong connection to South Africa and continues to be one of the country's most prominent and influential figures. He has a net worth of $8.7 billion. 1. The Rupert Family Johan Rupert is a South African businessman and billionaire. He was born on June 1950 in Stellenbosch, South Africa, and is the youngest son of the late Anton Rupert, 
who was a well-known South African businessman and philanthropist. Rupert's father founded the Rembrandt Group, which later became one of the largest multinational corporations in South Africa. Over the years, Rupert has expanded his business interests and is now the chairman of Compagni Financier Richemon, a luxury goods company that owns several high-end brands, including Cartier, Dunhill, and Montblanc. He is also the chairman of Rengro, a South African investment holding company. He and his family live in Stellenbosch, South Africa, and he is widely regarded as the wealthiest individual in the country. His net worth is $9.1 billion. Despite the challenges and obstacles these billionaires may have faced along the way, their families have remained resilient and continue to thrive. Their stories serve as inspiration for future generations of entrepreneurs and business people and remind us of the potential for success that lies within each of us. We have come to the end of the video. What do you think about the 15 richest families in South Africa? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video and are interested in knowing more about the continent, then like and subscribe to the new tourist channel. Turn on notifications so you get notified whenever we upload new educational content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.